thing. It's getting a battery connector off it. I know that I'm never going to use this connector again. Let's see how much I need. Battery connector. EST all the way around. Okay, there we go. Which is still attached. If your motor leads are opposite of what they're supposed to be, uh, that's essentially what you have to do anyway. So that's kind of the advantage of those connectors is being able to change that at the connect. And power switch, it is already paired. There is the servo. Let's see if it's any, any good and even worth trying to put the body on. I gotta say, the modulation is actually pretty darn good. Um, this is about the turn signals. What to do about those? I have determined that the signal information coming off of the MN controller uh, is actually fed through uh, the black and the red wire. So you can go ahead and undo those from this end of the connector or this end of the connector, whichever you choose. So let me kind of move the camera over to here for a second. And I'll turn the vehicle on and we throw power on that. So right now I have no turn signals hooked up and so you don't see any flashers happening or anything like that. Now both of those are out. Obviously they're not currently getting any power of any kind. So what you're going to need to do is power off of one of your red LED source wires that's on the board here itself. And because uh, basically all of the turn signal wire around the car was fed by the red wire. If you feed one source of it, you're going to feed everything. Now it's left and right signal information was coming in off of the black wire. So it was being told basically switch one way or the other, turn one way or turn the other way. And if you want to repower those lights back on, what you need to do is go across the green wire and the empty, I can't do this, I'll have to, I'll have to zoom in. The green wire coming in and then where the black wire would be, on this side of the connector, you'll have to jump your red wire across both of those. And what that will do then, as you can see very faintly, is it now lights up the, see that? It relights the running light. And of course it doesn't make it as bright as what it would have been with a turn signal. It just simply turns the yellow back on in the form of a running light. And just dab a little solder onto the end of that. It is not going to take much to get this wire landed on this. So just real easy. Just touch that. Once that's uh, cooled down, you can do is now that that wire is more secure, go ahead and turn your vehicle back on if you want. Make sure it's all paired up. And then you can take this wire. And again, what you want to do is you want to cross not only the green, but where the black was once connected. Once both of those are touching, you can see that the, the two little running lights actually kick back on. And I lost connection there. Okay, once that's connected to both of those, you get your running lights back on together. So let me just get a tiny bit of solder. It's a fragile operation, really. You wanna make sure that there are no strands sticking out anywhere, anything in the way of making contact anywhere else on the board. Okay, I think I got it. So the thing is, is you have to hit both pins. And what you're doing is you're basically shorting out between two pins. 
and jumping off voltage from another source. Now, I haven't run it this way, I haven't done anything else, but this just is just lighted control, and I was reading 2.66 volts across everything, so everything runs off of three volts, basically. Now, these come painted from the factory. The lenses are painted from the factory. I'm probably gonna go ahead and hit them again, but that is a real soft glow behind there. I'm probably gonna actually get these with yellow, which is something I forgot about. I'm gonna show you the unique thing about the reverse feature on this. Um, if you go ahead and touch it, okay, so this is forward, and you have brake. So when you hit the brake lights, you're gonna get all four are gonna light up a little bit brighter, and I'm fine with that. And I would also like to point out too, that while the brake lights are on, actually all of them light up just a little bit more. So that's not bad. I rather would see that than turn signals, and that's only when you hit the brakes. Um, and that's if you have this particular ESC where uh, you have to double clutch in reverse in order for it to actually go in reverse. Um, so again, so when you hit the brakes, boom, there they kick on a little bit brighter, but then your reverse light kick on, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like they're about the same brightness. Of course, one you have to you have to recognize or remember that that on Land Rovers, one side of their la their backlights is red and one is white. And I kind of totally forgot about that. So it kind of gives the appearance that, that the left LED, the left lower LED is actually brighter when it's not. So again, you get a little bit of, you get a little bit of brightness increase when the lights kick on and you kind of see them punch up a little bit there, but now it's not, it's not too bad. And I would rather have that than turn signals again on the front too. So I'll go ahead and shut that down and then again, but you know, just that little bit of, you know, it increases just a tad but not nothing nothing crazy so it's just these two little led pockets right here and you can do the upper ones but i think i'm gonna leave those blue those actually weren't bad when i just saw them and it's a nice color contrast to everything else i think if i had that much yellow up front then mixed with the orange it just wouldn't look quite right so i'm gonna do just the headlights i think so here is how i personally like to do this subject is just some pretty harsh headlights here as of probably the last 10 years or so in both automobiles and RC cars. I really kind of would like to get back to the uh, the whole uh, kind of vintage soft white off, off you know, yellow, yellow look. Um, it's just easier on the eye up until about three or four years ago when it really started to uh, kind of take a hit. And it's from all of the various spectrums and exposure to, you know, like constant blue light exposure and stuff like that. It's no good for your eyes. Yeah, once it's behind there, you probably won't even see the modification that you've done. And if you are able to see it, you know, chances are you might be looking a little too close. Yeah, but we'll find out. Oh, look at that. You know, I mean, it could be worse. You can't even see them, honestly. It really dims them down a lot. The whites are now, the white ones are, the blue ones are definitely much brighter. But you can see them back there, you know, they're there. Uh, but this isn't really meant to be driven, I guess, at night either. This isn't going to be a night rider. Um, and maybe I will do the yellow. Maybe I will do those in yellow. I'm not sure. I think I, don't, I actually kind of like that, actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and looking at the back, you know, there's no blue or anything to cover up. And again, let's just kind of look at, at how all of that looks whenever... Uh, you know, so you got your forward going and then you put your brakes on and of course the ambers get a little a little brighter but then as soon as you hit, step off the brake and you put your reverse lights on the ambers are going to get brighter again just because the two lights light up down next to them Let's see if we can see it a little bit better there and so since they kind of share the same piece of plastic a lot of that light just transmits through that plastic but really you know uh-oh Oh, I've finally hit lipo cutoff with my battery. It's time to charge. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks for watching. I think that's a good side for me to finally shut the camera off. I hope you guys learned some stuff from this mod. I know I did. Um, and I think it's a pretty key one. And again, stick around if you're really liking this MN uh, 111 content. I think this is going to be something that uh, I'm going to focus a little bit more time and energy on. So uh, thanks, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.